Uh, Grace Randolph, Beyond the Trailer. Hi, Grace. How you doing? I loved your movie. Oh, really? Oh, thank you. Uh, thank you so much. I've, I've seen your YouTube videos before, you know? Oh, That's really? Weird. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. I'm, uh, I'm, uh, I'm, I think I'm subscribed. I think I'm subscribed to you. Wow, yeah. that means so much. Wow, so yeah. we're, oh, wow, that, Already that's before, so cool. Be before all this, just because I'm, you know, a film, uh, film buff myself. So, like, uh, yeah, yeah. So this is before, well, before, I, I, yeah, yeah. I'm really impressed with your, you know, you have made a lot of uh, short films yourself. And I oh, actually yeah. wanted to ask you, you know, I thought the production design on this movie was fantastic and it had so many cool yeah. camera movements. Is there any scene or sequence that's your favorite as a, as a filmmaker? Oh, uh, God, you know, I haven't seen the film because I can't watch myself in it. I can't watch myself in anything, to be honest. Really? Um, yeah. Oh, you're really uh, cool in it. I think you can watch that. <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> um, I can tell you the ones that I really like. Uh, uh, so, yeah, I mean, I, I don't watch any of my work because I just, I just see all the flaws. Anyway, so... Uh, uh, well, how about when you were filming it, though? Like, did you yeah, remember? when I was filming it, I can tell you, I can tell you that I think... There were some scenes which I think were like the director Robert really uh, trusted me and, and heard me, which I thought was amazing. I didn't expect on a, a big blockbuster film that a director would be so collaborative or hear, 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 hear me out on that. Um, it was the Blood Brothers scene, um, which uh, we, we kind of took it off the page and tried different things out um, that uh, where they actually uh, clo cross ha uh, shake hands. Um, and then the, the departure scene at the end, uh, where, where he uh, uh, where he leaves the clan, um, those were for for the acting moments for me. There's some something that I really, uh, I mean, that was that was that was amazing. Went deep with that as deep as I could. <laughs> and but the the fun parts, I'd say, was obviously the car carrier. And uh, I mean, just being in Japan, you know, literally Japan, these ancient castles, re real real castles. Uh, that they allowed us to film in, and you've got 100 people in, you know, in, uh, you know, some in yakuza costumes, some in uh, 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 different, different costumes, uh, the the arashkage and the cobra, um, and we're all just running around with the swords and that. I mean, that was that was that was that was it was a lot of uh, that was a lot of fun. I'd say, yeah, it was. Yeah. Well, speaking of swords, you know, you have martial arts training. And uh, Storm Shadow has not just one ninja sword, but two. Yeah. Was, yeah or it was very cool. Was, yeah. was, the, was the ninja sword your weapon of choice going into the movie, or did you come to love it? Uh, well, I came, I came to love it. Yeah, I mean, it was, yeah, it was, it was. We, didn't, I think they knew that they knew it was always going to be the two. No, no, no. Oh, yeah. So before that, I'd never picked up a sword, samurai sword. I mean, I've, really. I've, picked, I've literally picked up having a, you know, having a go. Hey, John, pass me a sword. Well, right, that's fun, isn't it? But I never trained with it. <laughs> um, you know, you know those kind of cheap swords you get off on Amazon, you know, and your friends yeah. go, look, check out my samurai sword, and you go, yeah, all right, cool. And that's all I did with it. So uh, that was a more like experience up until that point. Um, but then, obviously, with the the the, the Kenji uh, Kenji Koji and the, the whole Japanese team. You know, they train you in the, 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 the basic movements first, the fundamentals. Uh, and I think, oh God, six different directions, the main ones, the core ones. And then you go off from that and you start, exp uh, it's just like any other character, I think. You, you start exploring the movement, movement exploration and the psychology behind that. That is something that, um, yeah, I, yeah, it kind of, the two swords I just thought was so cool. Have you, have you heard of Miyamoto Mustashi, the, the Japanese? swordsman he was an ancient uh, uh, sword, swordsman back in the day and um i think the 1600s or something like that I, I, I don't know. but he um he, he was the first guy who had two swords and he fought in i think about 61 62 uh duels to the death and he he, he didn't die because you know but yeah he's so, like two swords really works he about, yeah 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 so basically yeah yeah so there's a lot of like you know yeah, fun explorer exploration and and figuring it out and how to do it but once it clicks it yeah it clicks I oh, that's think. awesome that's funny they threw you in the deep end from yeah, no sword yeah, yeah. to two that's sort of yeah 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 can i not just have one a half one no. <laughs> well also you know your story i think is very inspiring to a lot of people because you almost quit acting because of the yeah. lack of good roles and now you're the star 
of this huge movie with the with the role like Storm Shadow. I mean, it's not only a very cool role, but has so much depth to it. How did it feel to get this part? Yeah, yeah. I mean, life life changing around. You know, it's it's uh, it, it was surreal just knowing. You know, because as, as an actor, when you're struggling for years, and, and then I mean, you know, I, I, I was always managed to, to get jobs and, and stuff, but uh, here and there. But you know, this is the first big film that I've done, and it took like 12, 13 years or something for it to come about. Um, and it was, yeah, uh, it's kind of surreal. It's just surreal when you when you're there and you kind of go and. Thank God I didn't, you know, I didn't, I didn't quit. You know, it's, it's um, those moments you kind of go, okay, that's, uh, that's something special, you know. That's fantastic. <laughs> yeah, I won't get too sentimental, but yeah. Uh, okay. Well, yeah. and also it's not all fighting. You know, you have some really, really cool stuff, some cool toys, uh, uh, luxury toys in this movie. You can oh, go yeah. label to label with James Bond. How <laughs> was it being this ninja prince? Yeah, that's a good. That's a good word, Ninja Prince. Yeah, uh, yeah, it was. Yeah, that, I mean, with Louise, Louise, I love Louise uh, Mingenbach. Uh, she's she's the costume designer, and um, we really kind of together, kind of collaborated to make it. Uh, uh, but she had all these, you know, she she's this kind of genius level uh, uh, costume designer. She kind of takes a look at you and she's just like, mm, yes, and I got it, boom, and then. Uh, <laughs> She's 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 a character, and so um, yeah, it was it was all trying to find it, and then um, we had some Japanese consultants come around to 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 do the 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 robe um, mahawashi. I can't I can't remember, it. Um, but yeah, it was it was it helped inform the character really, you know, so much as well because the clothes inform how you move, and then the movement informs your psychology, and it's yeah, it's it was fun. It was fun. It was fun to be just uh, you know. A normal dude from uh, from England, Surrey, and then pretending I'm some Japanese prince with all these fancy clothes. I was <laughs> yeah, everyone bowing to you and all these cars and everything. I was like, wow, Tokyo looks amazing. It was so cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was, uh, and Andrew's kind of going, no, don't bow to me. I'm an idiot. Don't worry. But then Tommy's like, no, yes, 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 yes. <laughs> That's right. You know, also, yeah. you started out, you did some stunt work early on. You were Han's yeah. stunt double in Fast and Furious 6. Yeah. What do you think of how fans are becoming more aware of stunt work? Who does the stunt work, the importance of it? Yeah, yeah I mean, I, I think uh, I, I think it's, become, it's becoming more, uh, people are becoming more aware, but they are really literally the unsung heroes of the, you know, the, uh, I mean, there are so many, actually, there are so many unsung heroes in film altogether, you know, down to the, the grips who work so hard, you know, and the, uh, the, the, all the crew, you know, the crew, crew are, you know, most people just see that, you know, that, that thing. And that, that was yeah. six, six, seven months of people's lives just focused uh, work. Uh, but stunts, you know, they, uh, especially on these big blockbuster films, you know, they, they, they're really there and they're there to, you know, they're there to support the actors and to, to, to um, empower the actors and uh, help them shine. And they, you know, I, I think they're really, to, they, they make us look good, you know, because, you know, most of us, most of them could take most of the actors on easily, you know what I mean? Like, but uh, they're there to, I think, I think hopefully it's going to start, you know, I, I'd be an advocate for the, you know, Oscars for, for Right? For, there for should stunt. be one. Yeah, they really should. Um, I'm ho hopefully soon, maybe, maybe. I right? Think, if there's I think a VFX just... one, there should be a stunt one. Yeah, yeah, I think so. I think so. Right? Yeah, yeah, the amount of work that they put into it, into especially films of this 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 caliber and this scale, like you know, people forget. People forget the illusion is oh, it's the actors doing it, but actually, there's so many other stunt guys there who sell that help you sell that illusion, you know, and then um, and then empower the actors. That's the main thing. Yeah. Well, when it comes to stunts, you know, you're also. Um well, I'm David Leach's, you know, the John Wick co-director, gone on to do a lot of stuff. He's doing Bullet Train. And you're part of that all-star cast, which includes Brad Pitt. Yeah, can yeah. you, I know it's a, I know it's a closely guarded secret, but can you tease the movie at all for us? That one as well? Yeah, I, I, I'll give a little, little thing. It's uh, going to be, I'll have to be a bit, bit, uh, a bit general, uh, Grace, but uh, I'll, uh, it's going to be an action-packed, but quirky um, character, 
uh, driven, fun. Uh, like you, and then you'll see Brad as I, I've never, I've never seen Brad. Uh, whatever he was doing, I've never seen him like that. And he's a legend to me because of the films that he's put out there in the world. And um, so I'm, I'm, I'm there, to, I'm there to support Brad. You know, to he's yeah. So, but the whole cast as well. And I've got Hiroki Sanada. Yeah, I mean, it was. It was <laughs> I was just, you know, what is, what is my life going on? Yeah, yeah, fire. Got yeah. Snake eyes, bullet train. This is an incredible one-two punch. Yeah, um, yeah, very great. Well, I, when I was watching this movie, I couldn't believe that Hollywood made it with Snake Eyes because it felt very authentic to me. And it's been a little hard for uh, Hollywood to make movies set in Asia because Asia has such a wonderful film industry itself, and it's yeah. in, in the various countries. So, how what did you strive to make sure this film felt authentic? You and the cast and crew. So yeah. that you know, you didn't feel like you were coming into someone else's space. I think. Well, I mean, it's 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 because of Robert, the director. He's a Japanese cinephile, uh, uh, Japanese film buff, uh, and just fanatic. And I think that's the, the, there was. Uh, it's a celebration as well. It's an homage. There's lots of homages to Japanese uh, films, like even the opening scene, the yakuza section, and uh, the yakuza. They're even dressed like the 1980s kind of yakuza kind of thing. Um, uh, but the main thing is, is I think. Collaboration is the, the, the main thing, I think, because I think, you know, ego, that, when you get your ego, you know, your ego blocks you from everything. And as soon as someone, you know, someone says, oh, well, I can do that better or we can do this better. It's like, nah, let's collaborate. Let's make this better. And that's what Robert and Kenji, we all wanted and we all tried to work together because we, we had Japanese crew. We had the American crew and uh, it was all about collaboration. And I think we uh, we would. We, you know, we've seen enough big Hollywood films that they just like how 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 uh, how come this amazing action star made this? You know, in, in came to Hollywood and then it's not as good as the thing. But this was definitely collaborative, and I think that's the key. Collaboration is 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 uh, collaboration, respect between different cultures, and to help empower. I think. I love that because it's also one of the lessons in the movie. You know, the yeah. ego thing, right? Yeah. I thought that was yeah, great. Yeah. Yeah, so yeah. my final question for you is, you know, the movie adds a lot of depth to Snake Eyes and Storm Shadow's relationship. And I really like that neither one of them is a clear cut hero or villain. Mm. What do you hope that fans take away from this this movie? Um, I th oh, what do I hope? That's a good question. Thank you. Uh, the, 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 <laughs> um, I just hope they'll have a, a really good time. And I think the main thing is, We've gone through two years of, uh, in, in the last two years, the human, uh, humanity has gone through a real testing time. And I just hope that these two hour, this two hour film will be able to provide them a bit of escape, a fun escape, some joy to remind themselves, uh, you know, the, the fun of the imagination and all that stuff. I think just some positivity, some fun, some escapism, I think that's the main thing. I, I hope they just leave it and they, they go, I, I really had a blast because I think that's what we could all do with a bit now, you know, a bit more of nowadays, you know, you know? Yeah. Oh, I loved yeah. it so much. Uh, I have tickets. To, I saw it for this, but I'm, I'm already have tickets to see it in IMAX because that's how I want to see it. And, all right. Uh, oh, yeah. And IMAX is the place. Yeah. I'm honored that you subscribe, you watch my show and it means a lot to me. <laughs> oh, thank you, Gracie. Yeah, keep doing, keep doing you. You know, keep uh, keep it up. I think. Uh, uh, same great. to you. I can't wait to see you in this and and uh, on all your upcoming huge films, which I'm sure there will be many of. <laughs> okay, okay. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Grace.